We had an historic day today in Texas. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. making a Monday night campaign stop at Brazos Hall in downtown Austin as he tries to gain momentum in his long shot bid for the White House. The Independent speaking about his plan to restore the middle class, reduce the national debt, reform the government, and protect constitutional rights, as well as what he calls the chronic disease epidemic. The DNC has done everything in their power to stop us, and they'll continue to do that, but we are going to get on the ballot in every single state, and I want to thank all of you who are part of this. Kennedy joined by his running mate, California attorney Nicole Shanahan, as they addressed a crowd of a few hundred supporters. We have propped up Wall Street while Main Street businesses have shuttered their windows. Kennedy has faced criticism, including from his own family, over his stance on vaccines, as well as his comments on the January 6th riots. I spoke with him one-on-one -on -one moments before the rally started. How would you respond to those criticisms? Uh, I'd like to know what I've ever said that's extreme. I think you know, everything that I say is common sense. It's characterized as extreme by people who don't want to hear, people to hear me speak. Some supporters arriving here early Monday morning. I've been here since, as a matter of fact, six in the morning. With dozens waiting in line most of the day to get a good spot. I have been a Democrat since college. I've never voted <laughs> for an independent or for a Republican. This will be my first time to vote independent. Do you think he has a shot? He possibly could. We don't know. It's an uphill battle for sure. RFK's campaign announcing Monday he has more than double the number of signatures required to get on the ballot in Texas. He's currently on the ballot in just four states, with Texas among another eight where he's poised to do so. And are you surprised by the, the votes, the signatures that you were able to get here in Texas? Everybody was surprised. They... The professionals who were collecting signatures said it was the easiest signatures that they've ever gotten. National polls have shown RFK garnering anywhere from single digits to as high as 16 percent, with a lot of people wondering whether his candidacy would pull more votes from President Biden or former President Trump. Could he be a spoiler? He could be a spoiler if he does well in battleground states and then flips one of those states from maybe Biden to Trump.